It's a great pleasure to welcome Oshima Satoru from the uh, University of Tokyo and former Japanese ambassador to Saudi Arabia and also to Korea, to WPC TV. Oshima-san, mm -hmm. a perhaps deceptively simple question. What do you think of the American pivot to Asia? Well, um, simply uh, we kind of welcome the uh, policy followed by the current administration because because of the uh, fact that uh, in view of the rise of uh, China, uh, which does have a positive element uh, in certain areas, uh, that it does have some worrisome elements as well. So we feel that uh, our security will be better served by stronger uh, interest uh, in of the Americans uh, and presence in this area. Is the implication that um, you cannot really improve relations with China unless you have the backing of America uh, to somehow um, influence China? Mm, no, I think uh, as we have uh, been working recently uh, with uh, the Chinese, which resulted in this uh, meeting between the two leaders through diplomatic uh, channels, diplomatic efforts. Uh, we have always been open to dialogue with the Chinese, and uh, we managed to first uh, uh, take the first step uh, after a rather difficult uh, couple of years in the recent past. So we are looking forward to developing on this uh, develop a uh, positive step. Of course, the situation is not uh, very delicate and very difficult, but uh, I think there are a meeting of minds that we should move forward. Is the, the, the question of the shrine uh, a difficult one? Why can't it be resolved? Well, um, first of all, uh, there are many sensitive, difficult elements involved in this whole uh, Yasukuni Shrine, uh, which sometimes do not, does not get through to foreign audience. Um, first of all, the Yasukuni Shrine uh, is a, a monument. Uh, according to our admittedly religious uh, feelings, uh, to commemorate uh, or respect uh, people who died uh, for the country in various uh, past wars since uh, modern times. So it was not built for uh, those uh, individuals who died in one particular war, particularly uh, the recent, the most recent war at all. So uh, it's natural for the many natural uh, Japanese people to feel respect and would like to pay respects at the shrine and political uh, leaders who of course, of course are Japanese as well, and they uh, understand the Japanese sentiments, and they have their own sentiments as well, and they would uh, like to uh, pay respect. There are, of course, some uh, sensitive political uh, issues involved uh, with our neighbors, uh, particularly the Chinese, and we understand uh, the sensitive feelings on the part of the Chinese. But then uh, we hope that uh, they would also understand that there are certain feelings uh, on our side, uh, which is not necessary to uh, uh, what should I say, uh, antagonize the Chinese sentiments. Uh, what we have done in the past uh, in the war with China, of course, we are very much remorseful and we have said so publicly. But the fact that uh, we pay, some people in Japan pay respects to the shrine has, uh, is, come, is based on our sentiments uh, to pay respects to the war dead. And I think this happens with any a nation uh, where they had had unfortunately wars in the past and people who have died for the country. Shimasan, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome.